to shut a giant. I shot a giant. Oh my gosh, God. Yes. I just tagged out bow season. This buck, I saw him in the cornfield. He was, had two does with him. Jumps over, he's like a little four or five pointer. I've had pictures of him before. I was filming right underneath my stand. All of a sudden, I looked to my right, also his horns. I said, That's a freaking giant. Hurry up, got my camera ready. Same stand I shot high tower. This is unbelievable. Thank you, God. This is a heck of a year, guys. I've never gotten pictures of that buck. He's a, he looks like a nice nine pointer. <sighs> Thank you, God. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. <sighs> I can't believe this. Unbelievable. Bro, 
I just can't believe this. This stand right here. This stand right here. I shot Hightower out of. I shot him right there. I shoot this buck. Right there. He came out of the cornfield. Two bucks. Two sits. One stand. That is absolutely crazy. And I am so freaking pumped. He's right here. I did shoot him a little high. Um, I kind of rushed the shot a little bit. But guess what? A dead deer is a dead deer. And so the tracking job... <laughs> The tracking job is going to be very easy. Here he is. I think he, I didn't even range him. He's around 20 yards when I shot him. Let's freaking go. Y'all ready for this? I don't have. I, Roper's not with me today. Um, he's working. Should have called off, buddy, but. I'm just going to show you the, the self filming style of how we show um, the bucks once we find them. Let's freaking go! What a freaking stud! Oh, my biggest buck, baby. Let me just sit here, see if I can do like a selfie version for now. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, this year, oh my gosh. So, the last two years, I, I didn't kill a buck. I let a lot walk and um, kind of regretted it at the time. I was like, man, you know, I haven't killed a buck two years, being the owner of Appalachian Outdoors and stuff, that kind of looks bad. And then this year, I was like, man, this has to be my year. You know, Hightower, I was watching him all summer long. He's a younger buck, but he had very good genetics. I was like, you know, I'm going to take this buck. End up shooting him in this stand here. Um, haven't hunted back here since the day I shot him. Next day I come here, I shoot this buck. And we have pictures of this buck. My dad sent me pictures. He sent me pictures of him last year, and I was like, yep, that's him. So we, we did have pictures of him in Velvet last year. Never saw him in person that I know of. Um, but what a journey. What an absolute journey. And I can't thank you guys enough for your for all the support you, that you give me and my team um, and Appalachian Outdoors. It means so much to me. Um, and it just shows you hard work really pays off. Patience really pays off. And I'm just... I'm very, very uh, happy to be in the position that I am in now to really show you guys what we're all about, and that's making memories. It's not all about the kill. It's not all about that. It's about going in the woods, going all summer long, putting your food plots in, getting the trail cameras up, patterning these bucks. Um, it's all about the memories with your family and friends, and that's what it's about, man. I wish, you know, I wish my dad could be here. I wish um, Roper could be here, or or my pap, or anyone really in that matter that's a family or friends and um you know that's what it's all about and i'm very blessed to be in the position that i'm in and i cannot wait to continue to do this continue to show you guys what we are about and continue to create content and make it to the top because that's what it's all about right there and whew, i'm freaking just i am so freaking pumped i'm tagged out with the bow here in west virginia I got one more tag for rifle season, so this place is going to be no pressure once again. And I'll be down in Virginia trying to fill a couple tags down there. I can kill two bucks, of course, down in Virginia, so I'm going to try to kill some bucks down there. And man, <laughs> two bucks already. This is my best year. I shot my biggest buck, which was Hightower. And then 31 days later, I shoot my biggest buck again. This absolute stud. I'm I'm guessing he's gonna score 138. That's my guess. I'm gonna score him whenever I get him all skinned up and everything. But uh, he's going um, to the taxidermist Corbin Wildlife. Um, I'm heading right back to you. So um, he's a he's a great dude. He does amazing work um, for his mounts, and um, I can't wait to spend some more money and um, get this get this big boy uh, uh, mounted and get him back. But thank you guys so much. Um, I might do another interview, I don't know, but for the time being, I'm going to get some beef footage, um, do all that fun jazz, and um, I'm going to go ahead and get him all loaded up. Well, I have to head back to the truck, of course, a mile away. Um, I'm going to drive up, get some footage, and um, get him all skinned up and ready to go. But thank you guys so much. Um, this buck is right after Blake Pike's buck, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, that video as well as my high tower video, uh, the buck that I shot that, uh, that was on my hit list all summer long and ended up shooting him the first day going after him. So please like, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, continue supporting us because we have big things coming, as always, as you can tell.
we have really big things coming so thank you guys so much for watching um stay tuned for whatever we kill next and uh yeah <laughs>